Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynn and in today's video I'm going to talk about internship interview tips for college or university students. In last week's video I talked about the mistakes people make when writing CVs so check that out in that corner. So what are the most important things you need to do for a successful internship interview? Number one, prepare, prepare and prepare. Research the opportunity before you go for an interview and make sure you have prepared answers for the most common questions such as, can you introduce yourself? Why did you choose this role? And why do you choose to work for this company? It's very important that you have answers for these questions because inevitably they will ask you these and it gives a great start for the interview for you because you already know the answers to these questions so you can be very concise and to the point when answering these questions. It is also very important that you research the position and the company because there's nothing worse than sitting in an interview where you don't actually know what the position is about and what the company does. Make sure you know what kind of skills is needed for that internship and what kind of skills you can develop during the internship, what the company profile is, what they do, what products they have or what services they have. And then you can ask more educated questions about the company culture later on or about the position. So there is a dialogue between you and the interviewer instead of just them asking you questions. Number two, prepare your elevator speech. This will give you great confidence and it's a great starter to the interview. Now, what is an elevator speech? It's essentially a 60 second long summary of who you are, what you do, what your skills are. And it's really, really good to prepare an elevator speech because at the end of the day, they will ask you to introduce yourself. And this is the best way to start an interview and the best way for you to gain confidence for the entirety of the interview. Again, it will really help boost your confidence because you have already prepared an answer to this question and you are sure that you can present that answer in the best way possible, in the most concise way possible and the most effective way possible. So you can sum up all your skills and experiences and why you want to work for this company and then that will get the point across much more quickly than if you just scrambled on the spot to try to come up with a summary. It's also really good for you because they usually ask this at the beginning of the interview and it will give you great confidence when you start it off with something that you have already practiced. And that actually leads me to tip number three, to be confident and to bring some personality to the interview. Again, the elevator speech really helps you with gaining confidence because in my opinion, the most stressful minutes of the interview are actually the first couple of minutes because everything is new, you don't know the interviewer yet, you don't know the environment. And having that familiar thing to rely on, which is your answer to the question, can you introduce yourself to me, really helps you to be more at ease, to be more confident and to ease into the interview with something that you have already prepared. And that will give you so much confidence. It will relax you. It will make sure you're not as nervous for the next questions. And then you can bring some personality to the interview because as long as you're not confident, a lot of people, when they are nervous, they tend to clam up and they focus on basically answering the questions and they cannot bring their personality to the interview because they are nervous, so they can't show their personality, they can't have fun during the interview and they can't show what kind of person they are. And that is really important because in my experience, when I interviewed people, the thing that sticks the longest is actually not the skills and the experiences that the person has, unless that's outstanding, but it's usually I remember the personality for a lot longer. It is very important because of this for you to show a bit of personality, try not to be nervous, try to practice beforehand and try to make sure you're as confident as possible. And then tip number four is to make sure you have two to three questions prepared as well for the interviewer. Because at the end of the interview, they will usually ask you, you know, do you have any questions for me? And when they ask that, for my first interview, I actually didn't prepare any questions 
And it was really awkward for me to just sit on the spot and try to think about a question or say, you know, I don't have any questions for you. So make sure you have a couple of questions prepared, such as about the company, the company culture, the company's products or services, or even what your role would entail in the long run. It is very important that you have two to three questions because again, sometimes they will touch on certain topics that would make one of your questions not appropriate to ask anymore. And because of that, you do have to have a couple of backup questions. But at the end of the day, if you have a couple of good questions to ask, that will really make sure that the interview also feels like a dialogue instead of an interrogation for you. You can also get a lot more information should you have more offers to choose from then you know who answered those questions well and what companies you truly like to work for and my last tip tip number five is to show up early this is very important because first of all it gives you a bit of buffer if anything happens on the way or if anything happens even before you go to the interview it also gives you a bit of time, if you do have a bit of time before the interview starts, to familiarise yourself with the environment and to familiarise yourself with the people around you. That will also calm your nerves because people are most nervous when they are in an unfamiliar environment. So again, walk around the building a bit and familiarise yourself with the area, the company. And if you are in the company, make sure to be nice to all people people around you, the receptionist, because very often I heard that interviewers will ask the receptionist and other people later on how you were and if you were only a nice person during the interview or during the whole process as well. Treat them nicely and make sure that you are a kind, positive and driven person throughout the whole experience. So, all in all, it's not difficult to ace an internship interview if you have the skills and follow these tips. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions or if you have any other tips for other people going for the first internship interviews. Also, let me know if you have any questions that you'd like for me to make a video on in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more videos on productivity, career and university life. Bye guys, see you guys in the next video.